Hey guys, thank you for still being with me. This is going to be part two. So this is going to be part two of the recording for the apps. And this one is going to be particularly Shipmate. So I've already downloaded the Royal Caribbean app because that's the ship that I'm going on. And it allows me to do various things on the boat with the app. So I also downloaded Shipmate and I'll tell you why. Shipmate allows you to communicate with other people um, and it's not just for Royal Caribbean, it's Carnival, it's various uh, cruise companies, cruise lines um, that are connected with Shipmate. And it's really, really fun to use. I've used it several times before. So go to the Google Play Store, download Shipmate. And I had to re-download this on my phone because I got another phone that was taken off. So you're going to walk me through this, walk with me through this. All right, so we have Shipmate is uploading. So what you're going to see at the top, you're going to see Shipmate. You're going to have notification bell on the right side. I'm not really sure what that is at this point. You're going to have my feed and you're going to have general feed. And then um, it's going to have some general information in the middle. Down at the bottom right, you'll see it says news feed. You'll see it says my cruise, explore, photos, and profile. So I've already done a profile thing because I've used this before. You can upload pictures and things like that. But we're going to go back to the top and click where it says my feed. So it says no cruise, no problem. What we're going to do now is we're going to add our cruise so we can communicate with other people. These are all the other cruise lines that participate with this. All the other ones. So it's really nice. Okay, let's go in and find Royal Caribbean. And our ship is going to be Symphony of the Seas. Symphony of the Seas. And we are going in 2021. And we're going to be going in August. And it's August 29th. And you want to click over to the right where it says Add Cruise. Okay, so there's 108 days to my cruise. I don't know why I thought it was 70. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. So I like the cruise countdown because it shows me, oh, you have these these amount of days before you're going to be leaving. I wanted to make sure we've already had our COVID vaccine. I want to make sure that I have our passports. And I just like to have a checkoff list of things that I like to do. And as we get closer to the cruise, there's things I have to do to make sure home is taken care of and make sure that we also have a good time on the boat. So if you are that person, it, you could be the, the husband or the wife. You could be the person that planned the trip. This just sending out the reminders for everybody else. Whoever you are, Shipmate will help. This uh, countdown to your cruise is definitely going to help. All right, so what they're talking about on here is just going to be various stuff. Let's see. Mary Lynn Ray. She just added some photos. And they're in Honduras seven hours ago. So you can click down here on the heart to give them a, like a thumbs up. It's kind of like social media. You can type something like have fun. Okay, puppet writer. This person wrote... Hi, my husband and I are scheduled for our first cruise in October. One of our stops is Labity and it's getting closer and I hope it goes. And I have hopes that it goes. We're thinking of going ahead and booking our excursions. She definitely needs to be booking the excursions because if you book them ahead of time, then you get a discount. I know with Royal Caribbean and with Norwegian, that is true. Because once you wait, then you get the you have to pay the regular price. Celebrity, we're thinking of either doing a beach bed for two. Would the bungalow be a waste for just two people? How much shade? Well, let's just be nosy a little bit and see what everybody else said. That's great. My husband taught me into cruise 17 years ago. Reluctantly, I went, fell in love with cruising. Hopefully, this November we'll be going on our 31st cruise. I've really missed it. I can't imagine getting to 31. My husband kind of hates traveling but enjoys the beach. Okay, so they're going back and forth. We rented a beach bed on Labity several times. You can get all the shade you want. Yeah, because it's a bed that's going to have a cover on it. You can also get a large container of ice and bottled water and your personal attendant 
it's a good place to leave yourself when you want to get in the water. Yeah. So hopefully she'll get it. I honestly don't mind wearing a mask, though. I'm not trying to tan. Always I'll be using SPF 70. Yep, you need to use some sunscreen, guys. Okay. And someone said the latest information that the CDC is requiring masks on all private islands. So it's going to be kind of be hot outside. And that's what this person is talking about. And we're going to be required to wear a mask. I don't think that we're going to have a problem with that. We've just been wanting to cruise. So if you get on here, someone's asking a question, you have the option of answering the question. You just click down at the bottom and I'm just going to write, have a great time. I'm so glad cruising is back. And the smiley. Before you get started, it's going to ask you a couple of things. You need to be polite. Um, all this other stuff. So we are just going to accept the community guidelines. This is new as well. They didn't have this before. But, um, you know, things get updated. And it shows that I updated this a second ago. Okay. So... So this is just showing you how you can communicate with different people. Now, what it will do, and I'm going to find it. So let's go to my cruise. Let's click down at the bottom where my cruise is. So my cruise is 108 days. If you swipe over, it's three months, 16 days, and 19 hours. So you can have a chat with someone. This area is for questions and comments for those who are um, they're on the same. Like who wants to challenge me and shuffleboard? Got it. So it looks like somebody else is going the same time we're going. Okay, so they booked Symphony last year. And I'm so sad when the selling was canceled. So I'm trying to make it happen this year. They booked 829 through 911. Well, it shouldn't be 911. That's six nights, seven nights out of Miami. Should be seven days. So excited. See the room. So they, they did this on March 21st. So I'm going to put... Hope to see you there. We're on the same boat. Okay, so I just posted that. Now, this is a great way to ask any questions, anybody that's been on the ship. So they have the chat up here. We just did that. They have next to that is the roll call. So if you're cruising with other people, like family members, you can add them to the roll call. We did a family cruise before it's a couple of years ago, and I was able to just go in and add people and tell them to download this. And it was a great way for us to communicate with other people while we were on the ship. All right. So these are other people that are going to be on the ship. I mean, if you are interested in meeting other people, it's a great way to do it. Of course, I don't know any of these people. My husband's not on here because he doesn't have this downloaded on. He's not a social butterfly like me. All right, cabins. So it says cabin, select cabin. And our room is, our deck is 14, but I do Let's see, 17, 3. Ooh, I don't even see. Okay, so we're not even going to put that on there. You can select your cabin if you want, and then they have a price alert. Okay, so let's say you're thinking about this cruise, and, you know, you paid one price, and now it's going up. So we did get a balcony suite email with any price change and they will send you an email if it goes like it's 909 now if it goes down to 850 they'll say hey just to let you know your cruise has gone down what you can do is get in touch with your travel agent or with the cruise company and just say hey i paid this for the cruise is there any way that you can maybe give me the same price or is there any way that you can give me some onboard credit it doesn't hurt to ask you can write a review about the cruise Ahoy, <laughs> you'll be able to start writing your review on your sale date. So you have to wait until then. 
download for offline use. I do this um, when we get on the boat because sometimes I don't always get the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click save to save the information. Packing checklist. This is always good to have. Airline confirmation, credit card, cruise documents, and they've added some other stuff. And you can add your own items. So let's say you, you have something special that you need to add. You can add it here. This is our ship, Symphony of the Seas, and it's going to show you a little picture. Look at the reviews of it. Somebody said April 1st, 2021. I was so much looking forward to the cruise to celebrate three occasions that aligned. Let's read the full thing. Okay, sadly, I couldn't enjoy my first night in Barcelona. I had to spend the whole day in the hospital because of an accident. We almost missed a cruise of not continuously insisting on to the nurse who didn't speak enough English to get us to the doctor. Oh, so they weren't even on the boat. Embarkation, Barcelona cruise, was, cruise port was decent. And because we arrived late, it was almost empty and the check-in was very quick. I still want to try the online check-in though, the app through the app, but it wasn't possible, which left me disappointed, especially the effort in taking our pictures at home. Um, I would suggest that you do the online check-in. So you can do the check-in before you actually get to the port. You can do that because Royal Caribbean is going to send you an email out or whoever you're cruising with. I know Royal Caribbean and Norwegian will do this. They're going to send you an email out asking you, hey, go ahead and check in. Go ahead and upload your documents and all of that. That's less time that you have to wait um, trying to get on the boat because they have to do their part to make sure that you're supposed to be on there. On board activities because it was almost winter we didn't spend much time outdoors but i tried the abyss i almost flipped while sliding it could have hurt myself if not quickly stopped me away i got stuck inside the slide and had to push myself toward the exit Woo. ship quality they gave me five stars um and they left out of barcelona so they're saying unfortunately it was negative and that's because of their accident and people are just responding to them. So, Okay, this other person said, My wife and I sailed with her sister and husband who were celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary. The ship is fantastic. I think I would have enjoyed it. An Eastern Caribbean itinerary more than Western. See, we're on Western as well. We've tried to do Eastern and we got canceled a couple of times. But now we just want to get out. So we're doing Western. We've been Western a couple of times on different boats. So it's okay. We just want to get out. We enjoy it. Okay. Cause mine, but not so much cocoa. Okay. I wonder why our favorite relaxing area was Central Park. I wonder why they didn't enjoy cocoa. Okay. Painless, no waiting. The food was excellent. Staff was excellent. Cabin stateroom was clean. So like a baby, there's so much to do. We didn't spend time in the suite. Uh, okay, so they gave Coco K three stars instead of five. They're saying a bit overhyped and everything is spent more dollars. Perhaps some younger family would like it. Um, okay. Okay. All right, so those are just reviews. And there are photos. If you click, hopefully people have uploaded photos. You click, you can see the ship. The food looks delish. Definitely go to Central Park. We did do that on Oasis of the Sea. And this is the rock climbing wall, which we probably won't do. Our motto is hashtag don't lose your teeth. So anything that may require us to lose a tooth or break a bone or anything like that, we kind of steer away from it. We can kind of talk each other into anything, though. There is a Wonderland on this boat in Carousel. So this is pretty nice, guys. Very beautiful. Okay, so those are just some pictures. Again, the chats. We looked at that. Decks and venues. So I think we're on deck 14. Um, this is going to be, yeah, where our room is and it's ocean adventure there. But let's say you're just looking at deck seven and you're trying to find out what's going on. No venues on there. I think it was deck six or five where the food was. 
can use. Yep. So deck six has Journey Rockets, which we love. They have Vitality Spa, the Cafe, Schooner's Bar, Picture This. So they have a lot of stuff on deck six, which is probably where we're going to be at most of the time. Let's click on the Aqua Theater. This um this person says probably the best show we saw all, all week. Reserve early because the shows get canceled often due to weather. Reserve your entertainment on the boat. Please reserve it. If you don't, you won't be able to sit and enjoy the shows. Because these boats are so big, they're gonna it's it's different from the smaller boats because there there's only so many people that can fit in there in the um the plays and things like that. But if you're planning on going to the Aqua show, make sure you reserve your spot. What we did is uh we got a balcony, which we love. And it's deck 13 or either 14. That way we can see the show from our balcony in case we're not able to go in and sit like right in front. So we're able to see it that way. But any other shows that you want to see, please make sure that you reserve it. And reservation should open 60 days prior to your cruise. So they won't be open at this time because we're 102 days out, something like that. Itineraries. So we're going in 2021. Let's see what it's going to say. We're going in August. And all right. So it's going to tell us basically what we're going to be doing. We leave on a Sunday and we come back on a Saturday. Day one is Miami. Day two, we're at sea. And I'm just swiping to the left. We're at Jamaica. Day three, Labity, Haiti. At five, day C. Day five, we're at C. Day six is Coco K. And day seven is Miami. So let's see if we click on it. You can get reviews on it. Could not stop due to waves. Can you believe that their unprotected doctor sticks straight out in the Atlantic Ocean? Okay, so they weren't, this person is upset they weren't able to go to Coco K. So. It has mixed reviews. If you have children, I think they will absolutely love it. And here are some pictures of Coco K. It is really, really nice. We've been a couple of times. That drink is good. So you'll be able to see this on your own. There's a chat about it. Got it. Location. Okay. Cabins. So you need to, if you know your category, so first you need to know what type of cabin you have. Do you have inside? Do you have a balcony, which is what we are going to have, but I don't, I can't remember the category that I booked. I think we're going to be closer to the boardwalk side because we wanted to see the show and it may be too I. Yeah, this person is saying, and this is May 2nd, 2020, I had a boardwalk balcony Third cabin from the end, so I could see the water show really well. I like to sleep with the balcony open and listen to the ocean waves. I will book ocean view next time. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. Next time, I definitely want to do Central Park. I like to overlook it and look at, you know, all the people walking to the restaurants and stuff like that. Great use of space. It's very comfortable considering the room. Room was clean. And they got photos. Very, very nice. Okay. And then there's more category. Ship tracking tips, ship stacks, stats. So let's look at the tips. Okay, so somebody said don't do it. I'm not sure why she submitted that. And what that means, it just says don't do it. This person says, don't miss any shows. I agree. This person says, 
just enjoy it's impossible not to love and this person again says make reservation for the shows please do that so you won't miss out on anything that you really want to see this person states try to see all shows one of a kind each one will take you by surprise definitely something for everyone explore the entire ship and we went on oasis of the sea and we were there for um saying i think it was eight days seven nights and we still did not see the whole boat so okay and i think that is going to be it we saw the packing list click down at the bottom in the middle where it says explore so it's different ships different ports um and then there's different deals let's look at deck cams Royal Caribbean's not on here, but let's just try Norwegian Cruise Line. Let's say Breakaway. Let's see what it gives us. And it's live feed, guys. So wherever this is, wherever the Breakaway is currently, that's what it's showing. I love it. Oh, look. Yay. I'm so happy that Cruising is back. I, I definitely am. Okay. Cruise pri uh, pricing deals ports. Caribbean. And let's just pick something. Um, I need to find Jamaica because we didn't find anything to do there. So let's click on excursions. Horseback riding. In the falls. White water rafting. Dumb River Falls. Okay, we could possibly do this. And this is located minutes from the center of Ultra Rios. Dumb River Falls. We may do something like this. I don't know. But I just want to give you guys an overview of the app. It's a great way to communicate with other people. Especially if you have family members, friends. And, or a large group that you're going on a cruise with this is just another way to communicate with them and you can download this so you can use it offline so you don't have to have wi-fi for it photos just go in and just kind of scroll through it's been a while since we've been on a cruise so we miss it i love looking at just old pictures and then if you click where it says profile close to the right it's going to give your name uh, I've been on more than nine cruises. I'm not sure why it says nine. Maybe it's nine that I logged. One photo, and I think that's just a photo of me. Oh, this is when we did the uh, coconut bath. That was our Norwegian getaway. And that was a while ago. And I got seven hearts. So that's all that's all I have right now. So that is it. I just want to give you guys just an update and show you this. I think it's something that you should download, you should use. And just leave some comments below and tell me what you think. I know this video was long and I was kind of going through reminiscing about cruising because I miss it so much. But hopefully you enjoyed. Have a good night.